Hello everyone, I'm hoping you can hear me. So welcome to another Saturday night live from my craft room. So I'm just going to quickly do a sound test just to make sure that you can hear me okay. I'm using a different microphone this evening so I just need to double check that everyone can hear me. So I'm just moving over to the comments and I'm going to see if I can get it on my phone as well. That's a lot easier. Um, hi Caroline. Yes, I've had a busy week but I'm doing okay. I hope you're all well. Um, hi Trish. Hi Dare to Dream. It's great to have everyone here. Hi Belinda. If you're on the chats, say hi. If you're watching on the replay, say hi as well. I'd love to hear from everyone. And at the end, I'm going to go through some of my YouTube comments from previous videos. And I'm going to see um, what answers that I can um, give you because I know there are some questions over there and I would love to get those answered and there's a, I think there was a couple in my paper graft uh, group as well so I will read those out too. So yeah, thank you Caroline, there's two Carolines, hello both Carolines, um, yep you can hear me okay so um, I'm wearing my mobile one so I can move around and you can still hear me so I'm just going to quickly put my phone just here so I can see. So this is the project we're going to be making today and I'm just going to quickly put up a poster on what um, paper collection this is from. So this one is called Comfort and Joy. Now that one is from, I did have it, I did have it, I will find the name. It is from um, Karina Gardner. Nope. I'm on my, uh, designs by Danny that's the one it's called comfort and joy and it's from snap click supply and I've tried to list everything down below so we're going to be using a different papers today so I'll be showing you those in a moment but if you're watching last week I gave you a quick tour on what we're going to be making this evening so this is made out of five by seven envelopes and the matching um, cards and I've made pockets and things and I'm going to upgrade this version as well using some dies from one of my mini albums uh, die sets as well so this opens up like that so it's all flippy and flappy and these all come out as well you can glue them in if you really want to um, but you'll have extra places there for photographs and opportunities for that so and then this opens up and obviously that comes out as well so this is all a digital um, paper collection these would have existed in a physical format but obviously as craft companies go through their collections now that they do go out of print and, and things like that so to have them available as something you can print out at home is absolutely amazing so this is what we're going to be making today so and it just keeps going round and round and round so this is the papers also these are the papers this is the papers so these are absolutely adorable i love these colors and i've even um printed out some of the journaling cards as well they are shrunk down because I've popped them onto A4 now I do get questions about the papers that I have printed on so this is what I use color copy it is uh, this is 200 GSM these ones are 250 but I've listed the 250 and I need to order some more of this 200 here because I've gone through it all and um, this is from Amazon the link for this will be down below but it will be the 250 but it will be easier um, it will be easy to find the other ones I also have it in 300 and also 100 GSM I use all of the, this whole range and the print is um, it's actually really good quality to a surface to print on it's super smooth and I even use it for my um, stamping on as well and blending ink blending so I'm going to quickly go over to the comments because I can because I haven't been keeping an eye on it I like to keep an eye on it so I can answer questions as and when they're asked and hi Belinda it's the first time she's caught me live I'm trying to um, get back into regular filming again and hi hi Deborah she's from the Netherlands if you want to pop where you're from and we have Wendy Sweets all sounds really nice and um, from New York and hi Mary and hi Jackie uh, hi Lillian hear me loud and clear that's good okay so um, I haven't done too much prep already um, I want to see you guys see me do a little bit of prep because it's not all plain sailing it's really plain sailing if you have everything ready to go 
but then that makes it look like super easy and quick for the viewer so I'm going to try and keep some prep undone in in my videos because then it kind of gives the true sort of meaning on how long this project will take I'm going to try my best to keep this down to an hour and uh, hopefully fit in some time there to answer some, uh, some questions so hi Trish from Greater Manchester another Manchester from Caroline and Monica's from Germany so you're from all over and Mary here we have Oklahoma and yes Trish the, the papers are fabulous I just wish um I could get a hold of the 12 by 12 paper pack so um, actually I've got a question for you guys I was thinking about this earlier what I was going to ask you today um, I was going to ask what is the, um, the particular craft item that you're an absolute sucker for for me it's um, 12 by 12 paper collections like the pads and then it, it, when it comes with everything else that goes with it like stamps and stickers and the accessories and that lot um, that is what pulls me in and I just have to buy it if I really love it I have to buy it so if you have anything any craft items that you just have to have whether it's just a uh, washi tape um, glues um, Nouveau drops if you just got to have the latest Nouveau drops or even the um, the distress oxides if you have to have every single color they bring out and um, let me know I would love to know it's, it's this kind of stuff is like really interesting so okay so today I'm going to be using three in one beacon I absolutely love this one and that it's perfect for sticking papers together um, for construction and boxes gluing boxes together I like the art glitter glue and the creative expressions um, one as well but I've listed all those down below so let's get on with the project I'm waffling on so we have six envelopes here I've paired them off into pairs and then I have six of the envelope inserts these are listed down below and it's from a five by seven envelope pack so you can get these in white and this particular album will work in any size as well so you can go for a small one you can go you can even go massive and go for like a, an A4 because you can get the A4 card sets and envelope sets I don't own any but I, it's very tempting to do so to get one so this is a very similar um, construction to one of my previous albums the paradise finding paradise from Dovecraft that would be in one of my videos from a couple of weeks ago and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this glue just on that envelope there on the flap and it's going to be glued onto this flap here but the easiest thing to do is just line them up and then pop them together like that just to line everything up nicely and we should have something that now looks like that and there's your opportunity just to get rid of any excess that has come off so I'm going to do the same on the other two and someone's asking me if I have another papercraft society box before Christmas um, I can't confirm that yet I don't know I've literally just finished the one the the travel one which actually I need to mention because that is all the paper craft society boxes are reduced at the moment they have I think it's five pounds off and um, if you miss mine here it is that's my box it's a travel mini album themed box and that it's currently 22.99 along with all the other ones that are available so the link for that will be down below as well I can't remember when that offer finishes but in the offer section it will give you the end date there so that's the second one just for the last one let's pop this on there we go so um, I can't pronounce your name it's Tripletsky or something like that I'm sorry if I've said that wrong or if it's something says something else it's not supposed to be said um, but anyway, she says she loves paper yes Caroline you can you can use other sized um, envelopes and cards for this this will work for any any size you go for right so I've got my three signatures done here so it's very very similar construction to um, the paradise the finding paradise one um, I'm just gonna grab my Tim Holtz trimmer there we 
we go right so we need to, you need to be wary now of um the orientation of your envelopes so we're going to be cutting off the ends on this section here so if you turn it round and cut the ends off there you'll literally undo everything so it doesn't it, it must not be on that side it has to be on these two sides here so before you cut each and every one just double check that you have it the right way round and then hold it firmly in place and I've just chopped off round about um, it's just under an eighth so yeah literally an eighth or just a smidge under so there's the first one again checking do exactly the same now again though this album is really really easy to do and it won't take long either because there's no binding it just flips through and you can have a lot of fun adding your own interactive elements flips flaps pockets so this one will be perfect for a little Christmas project okay so now I have these done and now I have all of these pockets here there we go so don't worry about this we're going to be covering this with paper so do not worry right so let's start off with these two here so I'm going to have this one in this orientation and then this one in the opposite so it's facing down just like that and we're going to be putting glue on this side and then gluing it underneath just like that so then we should have something that will look like this so if that confuses you watch through this video again a few times just to make sure that you've got that the right way so this one's upside down I'm just going to add my glue to the underside here well this is what's going to be the underside and then we're just going to bring this over and then glue that on there and if you do find it easier to line everything up you can close everything once you've got everything the right way round so basically it's kind of zigzagging so Jack is saying she's got my paper craft society box and Caroline saying I'm paper addictive nothing else matters just basic kit paper and card to make 3d items mainly thanks for answering I need to make a mini album and boxes of card blanks and envelopes to use yes you can just literally knock yourself out with um, mini envelope albums they're so easy to make so now you have something that looks like this and we're going through there and then it goes back that way so we want this in this direction we're going to close it like that leave it as it is and then this one here needs to be open just like so we're going to glue it here and then we're going to glue that onto that opening just there onto this last page okay I'm hoping that makes sense again I'm not moving everything around so um, too much so you get confused I'm keeping everything in the place where it should be so that you can tell when you watch through this video again when you're uh, constructing this so you'll know where everything goes okay let's pop that on there line everything up again at this point you can close that and do that okay so everything's now glued together I'm going to turn that over now back to the beginning now it goes through like this it goes through like that that closes and then it opens again for one more time in the middle and then it closes and now we're back to the beginning so it's kind of like one of those never-ending mini albums okay so that one took three signatures this sample here that I made this has got four so I basically carried on um, adding these envelopes on exactly the same way that I've just done here. Just keep going and zigzagging them on and you'll end up with a nice thick one. But for today's one, I'm just going to stick with the three signatures. Just popping that on. So let's grab the, the cards now. So I'm going to take three. 
I'm going to fold these in half and then grab my bone folder as well. Ah, oh, thank you, Trish. She loves the um, Paper Craft Society ones. Have you seen Sam's latest one? It's absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you do not miss that one. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It'll be on the, um, the Craft Stash website as well. So at the moment, it's subscription only for that one. Um, but I'm thinking this is going to be a very popular box. So make sure if you want that one that you get that. Okay, so I have my three done here. Basically, we're just going to glue these onto those envelopes there to make an extra page. So I'm going to add glue to this side of the envelope here. And the great thing is you don't have to lick that. Ugh, yuck. lose a horrible taste okay so I've got glue on this side I'm going to slot this right up to where it comes up the fold line here I'm going to place that downwards and now you can see there's enough glue coverage there for that for that to be closed and I'm just going to double check that I have an even space that it's not gone on wonky on top and bottom I give that a press down Yeah, so Trish, she's a big, big fan of the Paper Craft Society. She doesn't want to miss not, not one. <laughs> okay, so there is our first flap done. Okay, this is kind of thick, so don't get kind of carried away and try to pull those apart. So we're moving over to the next one now. Do exactly the same. So again, this album is really easy to remember once you've done this a couple of times because it's, it is very repetitive. Oh, I forgot to put the glue on there. I'm hoping it doesn't dry. It's quite warm in here. It's not as warm as it was last week. It's 26. So we've definitely had some cooler weather this morning. But it has heated up and it's got quite humid. So I think we're in for a few storms down in the southeast tomorrow. Um, so that could be interesting. So let's be quick here before this glue dries. I have done videos before where my glue has dried. It's been so warm, my glue's dried before it's gone down. Okay. That is the second one. Then we turn over and we do the last one in the middle. We're almost there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a circle punch because I need to make some thumb holes now. And a circle punch, a handheld circle punch, is the easiest way to do this next part so let's get this last page on if you wanted to you can have this page just glued to the bottom here so you wouldn't have glue here on this side of the envelope and you can have that to open as an extra open out page so there is that option as well okay this is really coming together Okay, so here we have, I'm going to turn it back over again now. So we have this, this, I'm going to quick, quite quickly show you every time where we're at. So that turns over and we do that. So I'm just going to grab my uh, punch. It's a one inch punch. It's my favourite one from, this is a Stampin' Up one. What other brands are there that you can get for uh, one inch punches? I do have somewhere a white one. It's by X cut, but it's really chunky. So I wouldn't want to use that for what I'm about to do here. So if you know of any other circle punch brands, let me know. Okay, so I'm, I'm on the front page here. No, I'm not. There we are, we have the front page here. So, Um, oh no, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to put the punch down. We do that after we've matted. So let's cut the mats now. I'm going to use my big trimmer for this because I need to cut it just under seven inches. So 
here are the beautiful papers and Caroline's asking me how are the um, the chickens chickens are really well they are waking up very early in the morning and we don't have one of those automatic door openers because Muggins here bought the only omelette egg glue that won't take the automatic door and yet yeah, we're paying for that now by being woken up early to the chickens being a bit noisy so I've just cho uh, chopped that down to six and three quarters and the next one is going to be four and three quarters and you can keep all of these as your off cuts so again like I said before I'm not um, I haven't done too much prep okay so that one is going to be glued just here on this one or it could be glued onto this one this one would be a better size for the card so we can go exactly seven by five on the next one so let's choose another I'm thinking uh, yes this one will go quite nicely so I'm going to cut this down to seven so I've printed these off at A4 but the files that you get they are 12 by 12 size I don't have a 12 by 12 printer so and I'm going to cut this at five and then if I want to cut this down smaller again I can do okay so that is going to go just here so I will probably end up cutting a little bit off here again because I did trim these envelopes down so again everyone's envelopes are going to be slightly different so I'm thinking I just need to take a quarter of an inch off I consider an eighth but I think a quarter will be good but I will have all of these measurements written down on my website once I've written up the project page for this so I'm happy with that so let's glue down this one here first and I'm not gonna do um, you know cover the whole album in paper in this video but I will um, show you a finished version on my Facebook page and if you want to join the um, the Facebook group that I have I'll just quickly put a poster up here and that is my uh, Facebook group and it's a lovely little group where you can share all of your lovely makes here that you've seen me do um, on YouTube and also the Simply Made Craft makes as well okay so this one here is going to be put on a little bit differently so all I'm going to do is add glue around the outside I'm not going to be tempted and swoosh it all in the middle so I'm going to start off by adding my glue just around the outside of the envelope just there I'm not going up to the edges and then on this one I'm just going around the edges because this is going to be a working pocket and we have a rather large gap so we just need this long line of glue here what will be this one here um, I'll turn it around that's a, a thinner bit of glue here that is going to be going down there and that's going to stop the um, insert from coming right out into the main part so that's now sealed and we have this open area there we don't want any glue in that open area this area here because this is um I'll show you this is going to be the working pocket so that's going to be sliding in so that needs to move freely yes Karen it's a very friendly group okay so Caroline's also said EK punches is that EK success I think it's actually EK success that make the punches for stamping up if you if you um actually look I think it's EK success they are built and look exactly the same but I think Stampin' Up have a contract with them to manufacture their own punches I mean you won't be able to buy the same punches from Stampin' Up they have their own designs on the actual model um, but that that is what I've been led to believe anyway 
okay let's pop that on it's going to uh, seal itself okay so we can now move back to the punches right so here we have our front page and here we have the pocket now it doesn't look like an envelope anymore it is a pocket and all I'm going to do is pop this in it's good to have it upside down so you can actually see where you're punching and I've popped it in around about halfway it doesn't have to be exact or perfect I'm going to press that down and there we have our first pocket there oh, hi Terry oh, from California what time is it in California great to have everyone here actually no matter what time zone you're in it's just wonderful to have everyone here okay so I've now popped that on and I'm just wondering where I put my folded cards put them somewhere maybe they're under here no Ooh. what did I do with them well I've done something with them oh I've used them there we go oh dear it's been a long day <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm gonna find them I've already used them okay let's fold these over swiftly moving on okay so I folded that over I'm glad I realized that I'd have been looking for them forever okay so this just slides in here and if you do have a little bit of a funny area here this is what can happen sometimes as you trim them off you can take take away some of the um the sealant bit where it folds over so this becomes a flappy bit so you can just uh, glue that down 1 p.m in the afternoon oh i could do with an extra <laughs> an extra six hours of the day i'm just going to add my glue there it's going a bit yeah we've already got ourselves a glob there doing that just reminds me this is totally gross but it just reminds me of picking like bogey out of your baby's nose when I do that you always have a tissue handy when you do that it's like when your baby gets their very first cold and that you know they don't know what's hit them and they're all snotty oh yeah use a tissue I'd say but yeah it does just that just the whole just the whole texture it just reminds me of that okay so I have now sealed that let's pop this in here okay and that goes in there so because we have added our glue just along there we do need to trim off some of that slightly I want to keep the length on that side I mean you can trim it down if you really want to I think actually I'm just gonna trim the whole thing down so I'm going to this is at five and I'm gonna do it at let's try four and three quarters four and three quarters and then test it this is going to be different for every single one that you do depending on your glue line so custom make these for each one as you go along Oh dear, well, Leanne's just written uh, she made her own version it was a disaster um, I'm hoping you got that sorted out in the end okay there we go that has slipped in I think I need to take off a little bit more just on this side here I'm just gonna just take a little smidge off and then I'm gonna pop that in there we go and there is our first flap done and then that can come out just like that or you can glue it inside if you really want to so i'm just going to quickly do these two and then i'm going to move over to one of my die sets actually because i did say i was going to jazz it up a little bit and do something a bit more interesting okay so i'm going to go for maybe the presents and I quite like these poncettias you know I love a poncettia and I really love this wood grain as well so 
so these again are there from snap click supply but wait until they have like a 50 percent off discount sale so um if you've bought anything from them before you'll get an email you'll you'll be notified um every wednesday they have a wednesday sale for, uh for a for a buck for a dollar sale thing that's really really cool um so i think i'm gonna go for these two but anyway this collection is linked down below and there's no direction to these and I'm going to cut these at the same time this is my super duper Fiskars um, paper trimmer it does, it does chipboard thick stuff, it does the thin stuff and it's self sharpening as well so it's not going to mash up your paper so I'm doing these 7 by 5 and then I will trim them down again shortly if I need to. Okay, I'm going to need to trim down one of them and let's do that. 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. That's going to give me a 1 8 border around. Pop that on, and if you want to get creative and do your inking around there as well, you can do that too. Okay, so Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara, also from California on the central coast. So Leanne's saying the envelopes went really tatty and torn. This is a whole learning experience, it really is, especially when you're experimenting. Things just end up in the recycling bin, to be honest. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut this down again. And I'm going to do this at four and three quarters. Test it. Yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, do you remember what I did? I added my glue just along here. Okay, and then I think that's all I'm going to be doing for pay, uh, matting. Because that's not what this video is about. So, Okay, I'm liking this line there, so I'm going to pop it on that way. And pop that on. There we go. I'm going to take my next card I'm going to trim this off I'm going to do this at four and three quarters it does fold better when this isn't too long if you know what I mean so this if it went right to the end there it probably fold over and it might not close as well and I'm thinking I need to cut a little bit more extra just off there and I'm going to pop that in there let's get the punch out again make sure you only have the one the the uh, this side of the envelope done and you haven't got the back side of the envelope caught in there as well nothing like chopping off something that you shouldn't have done and that is going to slide in there there we go and if you have the special stamp that's from one of my album um, stamp sets I don't think it's listed down below but it's in the, al the uh, Simply Made Crafts album collection you have the place photo here stamp so after the video I will add that to the description box and it's absolutely great if you're giving this away as a gift then the recipient knows where to pop the photographs and if you are giving it away try to keep to standard sized photos like 4x6, 5x7 um, it's just a lot easier for them to do that I mean if you're doing your own album then by all means go for any other awkward size or funny size that you want to do because you can easily custom make it yourself so but if you're giving it away for someone to put their photos in, keep them as standard as possible. Okay, moving on now. So we now have something that looks like this. And then I have 
loads of extra papers to choose from to even add mats to these inserts there so i'm only going to be decorating this front half here first Oop, just kick that out because this is going to take a long time another hour or two i would say to mat and decorate the rest so we're going to be sticking with the front section and i'm just going to take away my paper trimmer now pop that away okay so the set that i'm going to be using is the portrait album die set editions and i've taken out some of my favorite pockets here with the ornate ones and we have the corner pockets there as well and we have some tags too so because this is a christmas album i'm just going to keep away from these floral designs and the happy times um that's going to go really well with them celebrating christmas as well so that is the portrait album die set editions and that is listed down below and i forgot to also mention there's a special offer um at craft stash you may have seen it today it's a stretch and save offer i absolutely love those and there's three different categories depending on how much you spend you get a certain percentage off so i'm just going to quickly pop that poster up And the link to that uh, craft stash website is down below so um, i wanted to use something from the simply made crafts range in today's album so it's a right old mishmash of, of handmade envelopes and using the die set for the pockets because it's always easier i think to just get some die cutting done instead of manually cutting everything out so here are the pockets that i've taken out of that set so I've popped them onto some um, magnetic die sheets here and this particular size album will take um, these pockets too. So it's a five by seven, as you can see, this is the biggest pocket here. So that is going to fit on there. So these flaps are gonna tuck underneath and there's gonna be loads of room. So there's that one. And then we have a slimmer one here. And again, it comes with the matte dies, the shaped dies too for that and then we have these large uh, tags you can use them in your albums and we add photographs to them you can even use them on gifts and then we have a pocket here and we can have it that way round again they come with the shaped mats and then we have a corner pocket too so I'm going to do a corner pocket with a corner mat and I think I'm going to go for a smaller one going that way. Yep. And I'm going to use the mat for that too. So those are the two bits and bobs I'm going to be using. So let's quickly choose our papers. I'm going to go for this one for the mat there, I think. And then for the mat here, I'm going to take um, this and have the mat on the corner to complement that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's keep those aside. I'm running out of space. I'm gonna grab my big shot now. Oh, I've got another question for you guys. What die cutting machines do you have and how many do you have? So I'll be reading out your answers as I die cut. So um, you can either go into your the card pack that for this cutting, or you can use individual craft card stock. I do buy it in A4 as well, and it's usually around about the same sort of stuff. So I'm just going to use that. I need to cut that down. So I'm just going to quickly do that off camera because my desk has suddenly become very small. Yes, I love this, the, the, uh, the large dies as well. The yeah, tag dies. I don't think I have room for that one, no. So, um, rambling ramblings says she has a cricket diamond press and an x cut 
similar to the Sizzix. Oh, Leanne's mentioned the Halloween word. I am looking forward to getting some more um, Halloween projects out. I have something um, very good coming up for Halloween this year. So I can't let any cats out of the bag just yet. So Jackie's saying she has a Sizzix Big Shot and a fold away and a Gemini A4 and a scan and cut. <laughs> That's a lot. I'll be telling you what I have in a minute. And uh, Dare to Dream Big has just the one big shot. Is that the standard size one? Oh, sorry, Trish, keep losing connection. I'm hoping it's not me. We'll just double check. Let me know if anyone else is having trouble. And Barbara has the Cricut, Cut and Boss, and Gemini Midi. Okay, I'm about to confess what I have now. I have this big shot. I have the Gemini A4, I have the Go Power Emboss A4, which I love, I'm using that currently. Um, I have this one here, oh, this one, I just want to say hi to Lynn, I always forget to say hi to Lynn, she always watches on the, um, the, the catch up. She asked what this little gadget was, this is the Altenew Blossom mini die cutting machine. It takes really dinky plates. And I absolutely love it for the really little um, dies. So I have that one. I also have the platinum, the, the uh, standard size platinum, the one that takes this size, these size plates. I have a Cricut Maker, uh, the first, the first Cricut Maker, the original one, because I, I use that a lot for testing out my Simply Made Craft designs. I need that one but before that one I had the I still have the Cricut Explore Air 2 so that was my first one but the scoring isn't so great on that one the scoring tool so I had to upgrade and I have not looked back it's really good I also have a scan and cut as well I don't use that so often anymore so yeah I've got quite a lot of little machines and gadgets I just go through them I, li I like to try new things so I've just die cut these two here so again this will work in the the ordinary portrait album as well I think that's in stock but I do know that the small binding is out of stock currently so yes yeah, so only a couple <laughs> I don't know where I hide them I really don't it was really handy though because I was using my Big Shot in one of the lives I was doing for crafts. I think it was on the Craft Stash YouTube channel. Some of you may have been watching, but um, I got something jammed in the Big Shot and it would not come out. So me trying not to panic, I just grabbed another machine <laughs> and gave this to Mr. G afterwards to sort out. So I'm just going to put my mats on now. I've just used my uh, bone folder there just to get the nice creases. This, this does all of the everything for you. So let's stick with this Beacon 3-in-1. I also really liked the other one as well. I don't know if I still have the bottle. Um, here it is. The Fabri-Tac. I like that too, but I am trying out new glues. So let's pop this on. So Trish is saying she has the Big Shot Plus. I'm, I am thinking whether I should add that to my machine family and the Gemini A4 and the Gemini Junior and the Midi and the Baby Blue and the Cricut Expression which she tends not to use anymore so did you know on the the Gemini Junior, no, that if you have the Gemini Junior plates, it will go through sideways in this 
orientation through a standard A4 uh, Gemini. If you if you have if you only have a Gemini Gemini A4, you can buy the Gemini Junior plates and you can put them in that way. Not that way. They go in that way, and it will go through, and it will come out a lot quicker for one. And um, you can do the smaller sizes too. So that's something else that I used to do. Okay, so I'm just matting these now, just waffling on and chatting while I get these down. And I don't think I got the papers mixed up. Sometimes I do that. Okay, I'm going to move over now to a different glue. This one here. I'm going to go for this one, the art glitter glue, because I'm going to be sticking these down now. And I kind of want a really quick adhesion, super fast. And because these are folded over, it naturally wants to push up. So I'm just going to go for a different glue for this one. And I'm going to pop that on there. You can pop it in further so that you get the border around. This is where you can start getting creative in, in what you're doing. Um, you can have a dry run as well just to see how it looks. So yeah, Jackie's saying she needs a little machine here. So this one is, this is the ultimate one. This is absolutely lovely. It's even got the little suckers on there as well to run that through. I absolutely love that one. That just lives there. And then I'll just grab it when I need just a little die to do. And I'll give you the measurement of the plates. The plates. It is, I think it's, yeah, three inches. It's three by six and a quarter. Something just fell off there. Okay, let's get gluing. What is the big blue? That's the second time I've heard that being mentioned now. So what is the big blue? Is um, is there a brand name under that? And the question is, in the UK, can I get one? So Shirley has an old Cuttlebug, a Big Shot and a Big Shot Plus. See, I really want to get a Big Shot Plus, but one, they're gigantic. Two, they're super heavy. And three, I'm little. So whenever I'm in the um, the craft stash um, studio in Stockport, they have a very very high table because I'm little. I'm like this, and it's such a big machine, and it moves about. And it, oh, first time was very stressful, but I know what to expect now. So um, I'm tempted to pop this onto here. I think I might do that so I think that will complement it quite well so I need to choose a paper for that now um, that's too too much green this is where I need to do a couple of things pop that back on because I've changed my mind on something I now have to clear a space to get my big trimmer out again Ah, tattered lace is the big blue, same as the cut and boss. I see, okay, so I can probably get that in the UK then. But I really don't think I have room. That's why I've not got the Big Shot Plus, because it's massive. And it's not something that I can just hide away or have it sit somewhere nice and compactly. Compactly, I don't even think that's a word. It's definitely been too hot this week. I'm just so glad that it's a lot cooler i think i'm going to go for these stockings here and again if you really want to because this is a digital kit you can turn your pages over and print on the other side so you can have double sided as well if you're if you're doing um, a project that requires um, you know double sided papers then you can just do that and in any size as well you can print them out you can change it Okay, so I'm going to take a measurement now. Because I trimmed this down, I'm going to take a measurement. That measures four and three quarters, and I'm going to cut that at four and a half. 
Measure twice, cut once, four and a half. There we go. And remember, keep all your offcuts as well. You can use them for your mats. Okay, let's pop that on and then I can pop that on there. That kind of clashes, but maybe we'll just pop that there instead. <laughs> I should have thought about that. I do like to have a bit of contrast when I'm layering things up. I like things to stand out as each layer goes up. So I don't really like things to blend in too much. Okay, so I can have that here. You see, this mat would have been better matted with this paper there. So. If you can hear funny noises, there are some people or some children playing in the dark in the park out the back. Just complete madness playing in the dark. I mean, it is a, a quite a quite a warm night, so but still, it's completely dark out there now. So, so Caroline, if you've got the cut and boss, don't bother Helen. I have only have both, as I picked up the big blue as it was once used as demo and she paid £60 for it. Yeah, I think I've reached my capacity now for... Let me know if you can hear those noises. I'm really curious on what my microphone picks up. Okay, I'm going to pop this here. There we go. I'm just going to hold that down because that does want to push back up again. Okay, and then all I need to do next is die cut some tags. Yes, I hope they have a grown up with them too. I mean, it's certainly not, not something that I would ever do. I could be mistaken because I can't actually see out the, um, out the back, but it may even be children playing in their back garden. So you never know. It is the summer holidays. Okay, I'm just going to grab some of my off cuts now and I'm going to pop on. I should tidy up because this is exactly how to lose your dies. So let's pop these back in the right place. And they won't be lost then. There we go. And I'm going to, let's try and do all three. This hopefully with the off cuts that I have left over, I can do those. Those don't actually have any uh, mats to go with them because you can quite easily do, the, um, you don't need a, a mat there for that one because we have the tag there. So if you want to pop a photo on there, just uh, cut that down to the right size rectangle. And I, I do actually have another question for you guys while I'm die cutting this full of questions tonight so what are your most troublesome things about mini albums is it the actual construction is it um the decoration do you have loads of mini albums that you haven't actually decorated yet so i would absolutely love to know where you struggle on that so that i can it really helps make content really on the channel if that makes sense so if you have trouble with decorating or if it's printing photos at the right size you're not too sure what printers to use whether you want to buy a mini that keeps moving if you want to buy a mini printer and you don't know which one to go for if you're worried about photo quality and sizing and all that because you're brand new to it just let me know in the comments I will probably even do a YouTube um, like a survey poll or something that people can vote on because I just want to know really where you guys struggle because I'm sure there's I'm not the only one here I don't personally have a lot of time to fill my albums up with photographs so I have quite a few albums where they're, they're decorated they just don't have the photos in them because I kind of get to that point and then I have to work on the next job so 
um, that would be mine I just need more time to put my photos in yes so whenever I'm using a die set I tip it all out onto, onto magnetic sheets so I can see everything and I try my best to put it all back on them um, and then when I'm once I'm done everything goes back into the packet again so those are done I'm just doing my best now to be tidy because I've piled everything back on top of these again so let's put these back I don't want to lose any I have a pile of miscellaneous dies does anyone else have one of those okay there we go pop that back I should probably put away my paper trimmer too okay let's move back here I'm just gonna choose some twine I do have some I don't know what to use I mean I've got I need to buy I went onto Amazon the other day and I found so much twine <coughs> that I would have spent an absolute fortune on it and now I couldn't decide if I wanted to buy one or two because I'm running out of this gold and beige one so but I did see a few replacements but I was just so tempted to buy all of the ones I liked so I bought nothing at all so I'm just going to add my twine here again you can use these on your gifts you can do loads of these in advance you can even cut them directly onto your patterned paper and there you have it because it's a digital kit you can then even print it out onto copier paper because that's quite thin you can then wrap up some of your gifts with this paper too and then have a matching tag so this is quite fiddly let's get that through so for those of you where it's afternoon what have you got planned for the rest of the day for me I'm going to watch a YouTube video that I've been waiting for all day I watch ghost town living it's this guy you may have heard of him um, Brett is it Brett I think it's Brett he bought a silver mine called Cerro Gordo that um, it's near Death Valley and it basically gave all the fortune and built the the money from that mine built LA anyway he's he bought that ghost town silver mine and he's now doing it up and going exploring in the mines and I just love that sort of thing and it's really exciting so he's got some exciting news tonight whether he's either find a found a pair of Levi jeans or he's found another way into one of the mines so it's going to be good news so i'm really looking forward to that okay so this one can pop into there and we can pop some more into here and there we go that can go in there and if you can imagine having your journaling on here and your photographs as well yes there are loads of uh, places where you can get digital papers so we've got snap uh, snap click supply i think there's ac digitals as well um you have to google that one and we have uh, nitwit collections they are absolutely fabulous too um i'm actually using a nitwits collection next week in next week's live video so make sure you're tuned in for that and it's going to be another um, mini album as well it's going to be an exploding thing so it's going to be a lot of fun um with that one um so dare to dream is saying i am new to making albums and no not not have the dies for these and this video is helpful to know that i can make an album without a special diet i mean yes that is basically how um mini albums started out you know from envelopes paper bags and making your own um ones by scoring them out and making your own binding all from scratch and you know now we have companies for like my own simply made crafts we have tonic we have crafters companion even Sizzix. we've all got our own um mini album dies and binding systems where it's just so easy to put together it does it takes out a lot of the guesswork 
and um, and the measurements and the cutting you know trying to remember this is something that gets me um looking at measurements and cutting things wrong i do that a lot so having the dies it's you know it saves a lot of time i would say as well because then the only decisions that you have to make are the papers and how you're going to decorate things and, and everything so um yeah it just but but then again there's nothing wrong with doing um from scratch some that have turned out really well some that have not and have had to have uh, be put in the recycling bin but um yeah but using the digital papers as well it gives you it it, it gives you a lot of freedom i think as well so so um sharon wants to know how to print small photos instead of the usual six by four yes it's perfectly like like the three by four photographs as well so you can use apps on your phone um the project life app i think can can do it um and also there are settings on your printer as well when you go on a photograph you can right click and and press print um especially if you have multiple mul multiple photos highlighted you know when you press down tab you can highlight a few photographs i think i have a video on that already but it, this is a series that i want to do um so you highlight your photographs and then you right click while they're still highlighted uh, click print and then you will have an options down on the right hand side panel on how they're, they're going to be laid out on an a4 sheet so you can choose three by fours um two six by fours five by seven two five by sevens it will do that for you um it's really really handy so that's another way you can do them uh, or else you can get a mini printer as well that will do that particular size so there are a few options but that is a series that i want to um to do um, but also i'd like your input as well just to make sure that i'm covering everything so yes digital papers are the way to go because you can you can scrapbook christmas at easter time if you really want to if you're that behind i mean i think i'm about 10 years behind but there we go so yes craft studio is free and you can resize anything and again yes there, there is craft studio there is canva.com i love that one you can just add all your photographs there and change the box sizes and everything and then just print it out you can even save it as a pdf as well so that's really handy so yes and you can get a4 size photo paper as well that's really really good so i did say at the end of the last uh, at the beginning of the video that i was going to answer a few questions now let's see if i can remember i've answered one already because um i'm just gonna get this out without knocking anything over i was asked about this machine here yes the project life app i absolutely love that app too um, I used it a lot a few years ago so I need to open up a couple of new windows here so I am still here you're just gonna get my voice um, my second camera was playing up a few months ago so um, it kept doing funny things so I'm not, I've not been brave enough to do both uh, cameras in a while so maybe I should uh, test those out again I don't know if it does it to me again i'm just going to get a, a, another uh, camera so teresa teresa trump she has asked about the camper van now um i said in one of my other videos um, i'm sure teresa will be watching this um on catch up so hi teresa um she asked about the awning here so she was making the awning so this is the ice cream that I've stuck on the top of the camper van to make an ice cream van. Now this is a, these are two simply made craft dies. She was asking about how I made the awning. Now I've taken this section here. It's just that strip there. I've taken that from the car the caravan die, and all I've done is I've taken the same paper. I've cut it into a rectangle. I've scored it both sides. So as you can see under there, I've scored it both sides and then I've glued it on. So this was a really easy thing to do. All you had to do was the strip, 
and make yourself and score the sides exactly the same width as the strip and you can go out as long as you want to and I've done a quarter of an inch score on each side and I've just propped it open or propped it up it's got a bit squashed on my travels but I've just propped it up on these cocktail sticks I've trimmed the ends off so there's no sharp ends there at all and I just used some hot glue just to keep that in place now I think it was Lynn um, I'm not sure if it actually was Lynn but I'm going to go into my paper crafting group now as a question was asked can I this is from Angela can I ask anyone who has the camper van or caravan could I use it to put a mini album in there and how big do you think it will be so she has a, an idea for Christmas presents so the first one is if you're going to put a mini album in there make sure that you have sturdied up the wheels by, by layering up the cardstock and I'm just going to give you a measurement here for the caravan I've buried my ruler so you're going to be needing a mini album that is round about seven inches high you could probably get something no 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 we need to keep the opening we've got to think of practicality here it's got to fit through the opening yep okay so you need it needs to measure four and a half so four and three quarters and you could probably fit two side by side in there so so that's four and three quarters and then these flaps do come up actually so that needs to be around about three and a half so if you were going to put one inch two one inch mini albums that are four and three quarter inches tall you could fit two mini albums in there or you can make a nice big fat one to pop in but that would be quite heavy so do make sure that you layer up these wheels here as you can see that one's been pressed down I've only got one layer on that one so press that down or you can use some really large buttons that would give it loads of extra strength as well and then maybe if, if you want to you can just layer up the the bottom add some liners in the bottom as well to make the bottom a little bit more sturdy so there was that question there um, I will pop the dimensions on that comment as well just just in case they're not watching um, and also the thrifty crafter mail I know he was he was um, chatting last week um, he's still looking for the landscape die now that that won't be coming back as it is it is being redone now the landscape um, was the very first mini album die that I designed and it is quite basic so we want to kind of bring that up to scratch so to say with all of the other die sets um, so that is so basically all the core pieces are still going to be in there but we are kind of stepping it up a little bit so um, I don't know when the release date for that will be but really you're not going to be missing out on anything but it will be coming back so I'm hoping that um, answers that question so um Shirley saying she's new to albums first being my kit from the paper craft society and I've tried and loved the results from a card and envelope album you did a couple of weeks ago but I do struggle on decorating so would that be like the the um the matte ideas or adding the papers together if it was uh, adding the papers together always check the front page of the pad and you can see how they've um arranged all of the papers to complement each other the best so um, that is one way and always do a dry run if you're not sure and don't worry about copying anyone as well so um, if you see something you like you can just recreate that but if you do share it online just say where you got the inspiration from because that's always a kind thing to do so um, I'm just going through all the comments here so accessorizing and embellishing the mini albums is uh, Barbara's biggest struggle so accessorizing and embellishing so another thing that I really love to do is when I see a paper collection this is this is what gets me um, you get the paper collection and then you have like the, the bag of pegs and then you have the bag of the chipboard elements and then you have the uh, journaling cards I always buy the whole lot because that is basically a mini album kit in itself it's got everything you need everything has been chosen and designed to go together so it's basically almost foolproof 
and then you can just add bits and bobs and add your tuck points just find the album here so you can add your tuck points here use a journaling card for that um, I've even used some of the embellishments here and turned that into a tag again add your journaling there this isn't fully decorated yet I like to get to a certain point add my photos and then I can um, carry on embellishing so this one here has another tuck point under there for these so those can come in and out and again use your tags again add a photo on there and again a lot of these collections do come with stamp sets as well so you can really you know Bob's your uncle there's so much choice when you have an entire collection to play with so that's what gets me really excited so okay there we go and I have used this collection cozy Christmas on one of my other albums some of you might actually remember this from one of my lives last summer I will just grab that this is using the collection that we used last no no the collection that we've used today this is another way that you can I'm just knocking stuff over now this is another thing there is a video for this if you go into my playlist my mini album playlist on my channel and um, this is basically a CD holder book album thing I've just turned it into a mini album so it's got the perspex page perspex acetate sort of page front sorry acetate plastic covers and it's got a nice hard spine and lots of pockets as well so these this is where you put the CDs and I've created some circular bits so this is using the exact same paper collection with some of the accessories here and the cutouts and I've just added the numbers as well so those are the teacher gifts when I had time to home bake uh, I used to have time I don't know I even buy my cheese grated because I'm just so lack of time so yes I'm at that stage of life buy your cheese grated so here we have another uh, sentiment there so um, I just added some more uh, patterned papers just to get it started so there is a full video on this as well and that is in the playlist on my channel okay so I'm going to be calling it tonight now I have gone over just over half an hour so if you are watching on the replay don't forget to um, add any questions I do keep an eye on the comments as well so um, I will do my best and again I will try to do what I've just done answering questions from the questions from the week I'll try to go through those as well because it's just so much better with that interaction I find so um, don't forget that craft stash have the um, that special offer just bring that up again I've already got things in my basket I'm gonna check that out tonight I, I'm, I've got my eye on the the new texture things uh, there we go uh, these here from Sizzix the texture rolls they've got them in different colors like pink and blue and I really want to get my hands on them so I can make some more mini album covers and things like that with them and again they go through the die cutting machine really nicely too so there is that and don't forget the paper uh, the paper craft society they all have five pounds off And that one was my luggage mini album one so um, I'm going to be going now and I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night because it's still a very very hot night so um, I'm going to just enjoy myself maybe eat some chocolate so I'm hoping everyone else has a really nice evening or the rest of the day if it's super early where you are I just want to say thank you to everyone that has joined me today it, it's really lovely um, interacting with everyone so it is something that I do miss when I don't have the time so um, yes so thank you for joining me for this evening and I'll see you again next Saturday bye for now